India has a fragile network of over 1,382 islands. However, several of these islands are under threat due to unseasonal cyclonic storms, sea erosion and new development projects. One such island in Lakshadweep has entirely disappeared from the map. Environmental researchers are pushing for urgent measures to be taken to preserve these sinking islands. They say planting mangroves and creating other physical barriers around these areas can make a difference. Lakshadweep lagoons cover an area of 4,200 square kilometers. A group of scientists in 2021 urged the central government to rethink the water villa project steered by Niti Aayog. They feared it would destroy the lagoons. Coastal constructions and unseasonal cyclones are causing soil erosion. According to a study, waters surrounding the archipelago are expected to rise by 0.78 mm each year in the 2080-2100 period. Smaller islands may therefore experience loss of land along the coast. This island in the Gulf of Manar almost vanished from the map about a decade ago. But now the Van Island has had a rebirth. A team of underwater researchers have been working in the Gulf of Manar for 25 years to reverse the damage caused by large-scale coral mining till the 1990s. In 2013, Van Island split into two. The northern part submerged as the waves hit the islet directly in the absence of corals, causing rapid erosion. The centre and state governments announced funds of Rs 18 crore for this purpose. Researchers had already developed an underwater structure to create artificial reefs for biodiversity enhancement. After this, the sand started accruing again in the island. The lighthouse at Indira Point in the Andaman and Nicobar Islands sank about 4 meters during the tsunami of 2004. The killer waves also altered the morphology of the islands. If the centre's 72,000 crore rupees infrastructure plan becomes a reality, around 130 square kilometres of forests in Great Nicobar could disappear. The sea level rise here is estimated to be 5 millimetres per year, way higher than the global average. The tall palm trees on the edge of the island struggle to hold on to the depleting soil. One of the sources of income in this island was betel leaf cultivation. Before Cyclone Yas in 2021, there were about 550 units of betel leaf plantations. The ingress of seawater during Yas destroyed all these plantations along with standing crops. Erosion continues on the north and northeast areas of the island and villagers fear that the island will sink altogether in the next few years. Reasons for this reduction, riverine erosion and embankments on the southern bank of the Brahmaputra. Paddy and mustard cultivation has suffered and so has fishing that were once a major source of income for many in Majuli. Munro Turutu Island in Kerala is witnessing steady deterioration. The island is ravaged by constant tidal flooding and ground subsidence. The once fertile island now resembles a saline swamp and agriculture is nearly impossible. Recent research revealed that the construction of Tenmala Dam and uncontrolled sand mining are key factors that have led to the degradation of Munro Turutu. 
The researchers say that lack of fresh water, sediment from the Kalada River, and the presence of several saline pools have been affecting both soil fertility and groundwater quality.